All right, we're going to be building a really simple shopping cart for uh, technology books. All right, so we'll be able to add books, we'll be able to edit, delete them, and add them to a cart, and then check out and pay for them using PayPal. So this isn't going to be an extensive e-commerce system. We're not going to have uh, order management, stuff like that. Just very simple. Um, you'll see we have this home page here. We have a couple books. We click on the details. It gives us um, the category, author, publisher, a description, and also a cover image. We can go ahead and add a book to our cart. All right, takes us to our shopping cart. If we go and add another one, let's say this one, you can see that it's been added and we have the total here. All right, and then we can go to buy now and that should take you to a PayPal, uh, a PayPal payment page. And you can see that it bundles all the books together and gives you that total amount. Okay, and you can go ahead and log in and pay. Now we also have a manage section where we can see all of the books that we have. We can add a book, we can edit a book, and we can delete a book. Now this project, uh, the technology is a little different. We're, of course we're using Node.js and Express. We're also going to use something called Kraken. Okay, Kraken is basically just an extra layer that runs on top of Express that gives us special functionality. All right, as far as security and routing, uh, and it's also going to let us use the Dust templating system. Okay, which is really nice. Um, I think it's a it's a much better alternative than Jade, which we've used a few times. Okay, so we're going to set that up. Basically, we just use. Um, let me see if I can give you an example here. Uh, let's see. So. There's actually some example apps here, Kraken apps that you can look at. And we want to go to templates and let's take a look at index.dust. So you want to extend the layout that you want to use so you can have multiple layouts. Uh, and then if you want to use dynamic variables, you can use it with these uh, curly braces. You can do if statements, you can do loops, just like most other template engines. But I just think the syntax is really easy to learn. So, um, yeah, we'll be using that in our project. All right, so hopefully you guys like this project and learn a lot from it, and I'll see you in the next video.